Hello and welcome to Trails of Cold Steel, episode 14 of my numbers are right here. I have to click on the screen again because I am not the brightest of people. And continue.
Well, I have to go look, right? <clears throat> it's barely even a choice. up in the world <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you keep up the good work The time is finally at hand. 
At last, the hammer of judgment shall rouse this indolent capital from its slumber. Yeah! Comrade G, all of the necessary preparations are complete. But it feels like you have so few men accompanying you. Wouldn't it be wise to call in a few others for backup? <laughs> There's nothing to fear. As long as I have this flute, not even the railway military police stand a chance of stopping us. Tomorrow, the people of this land will at last know our name. My dear comrades, I shall be counting on you all. Seem chipper. going around gathering rumors. I can almost taste that grand prize. Crow? Ah, hey guys. How's that field study coming along? Oh, it's going fine. But why are you here? Oh, you don't know? Classes don't run back at the academy during the summer festival. So I came here to squeeze as much fun as possible out of this fortuitous bit of free time. Meaning? The summer races, of course. 
Wait, you came all the way here to bet money on horse racing? We're minors! We're not allowed to place bets! <laughs> Do I look like a lawbreaker to you? There's a magazine that's running a prize contest for the summer races. You send in your predictions, and if you're spot on, you win a really fancy prize. So you came all the way to the capital just to check on that? If only we all had such boundless energy. All right, time for some serious praying to the goddess. I'll leave the money here, okay? Thank you very much. Come back anytime. Anyway, I'm heading over to the cathedral over in the Sonk district. Peace. Uh, thanks. Come on, goddess, let me win that prize. That seems a rather pedestrian thing to pray for. So irresponsible. <laughs> That's cruel for you. Looks like there's still places here we haven't explored. Let's go look somewhere else. There are more people out than there were yesterday. 
They must have all come to see the Imperial Family's parade. going to be infiltrating by the... so we don't go see the big clue we need to see by the gazebo. Great. I kind of hate when they force you to make the dumb mistake.
contact her last time? I don't remember. Die. 
Reen. I'm sorry, is Reen's sister gonna die? I didn't give her a full identity, I'm just making her a sister. Is Elise going to die? Got this awful feeling about it. Make a big point of it, it's, you know, she's too selfless, just like her brother. Gave her life to save the princess. Check the waterways. Is nobody gonna do that? It just seems like there's a limit to how much of an oversight you can have your characters make without feeling ridiculous. Toa! Angelica! Oh! I didn't expect to meet all of you here. Well, isn't this a coincidence? President Herschel? We certainly weren't expecting to encounter the two of you out here. Huh? Looks like the goddess herself brought us together. And now that she's granted us this chance, what do you two say we... I'm afraid we'll have to decline. We have our field study to attend to. What she said. Lame. Will she ever learn? <laughs> Looks like those rumors about her were true. Did you ride your orbital bike all the way here? Yeah, you can make it from Trista to here in 40 minutes on a good day. So I plopped Toa on the back of the seat and off we went. 
It almost seems like a metallic horse. It's pretty cool. Angie's not the most careful driver, so it wasn't exactly what I'd call a leisure cruise. I really love the festival atmosphere, though. I just wish I could enjoy it without the threat of a terrorist attack hanging over us. Wait, how do you know about that? Did Instructor Sarah tell you? Yep, I've been helping out a little with your field studies, too. Yesterday, I was the one who passed on the governor's request to Instructor Sarah, for example. I got pretty worried when I heard about terrorists, so Angie and I decided to see what was happening. I see. It appears you've done much for us without us even realizing it. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I'm not doing any of the heavy lifting. Oh? <clears throat> I thought you were helping with all the paperwork and travel arrangements so everything runs smoothly. And that you're the liaison for our contacts in every region because Instructor Sarah keeps slacking off. S seriously I swear, just when I'd started thinking she was better than we were giving her credit for. Yeah, that's a little much, even for her. It, it's fine, really. I'm sure she's got lots of stuff on her plate. Anyway, I heard you guys got to meet the princess. I'm so jealous. I wish I could have met her too. <laughs> we could hardly believe we met her ourselves. She really does look kind of angelic. Oh, if I'd only shown up earlier and tagged along with you. <laughs> Princess Alvin's beauty is definitely one of our national treasures. But your sister's quite the looker herself. I hope I get a chance to meet Elise again someday too. Actually, she's attending the garden party as Princess Alphen's attendant right now. Really? Oh, if only I could get Princess Alphen, Elise, and Fee together in the same place. Okay, she was a cool character, but like, why is she one of the young ones? Weird. It's, it's creepy. Please stop doing this, Nihon Falcon. We could call them the Fabulous Fifteens. Don't look now, but I think you're being co-opted into some sketchy sounding group. Sounds good to me. Oh, all right. Ugh. If I'd known this was gonna happen, I would have listened to my father and attended that party after all. But no, no, I couldn't have. I couldn't spoil my charms by wearing a dress. Oh, oh! I could have worn a tuxedo instead. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, Angie, maybe you're putting a little too much thought into this. Hey, hey the gang's all here. <clears throat> Crow? Friend, the engineer. Oh, we didn't know you were here either. Fancy running into you. <laughs> yeah. You said you were going to the summer races, didn't you? How'd the main race go? Uh, don't ask. Who could have guessed that Black Prince would come from behind in a burst of speed like that? And then Lumber Blitz barely squeezing past into second. There's no way anyone could ever see an upset like that coming! Oh, I guess I won with those four to five odds. Glad I decided to pony up some cash for that after all. Wait! You're the one who won the special prize? Oh, stop feeling up lady luck, would you? You're just sore because I've got better karma than you. <laughs> Angie really does have scarily good luck with stuff like this. Sounds like the bell's chiming three o'clock. Guess that means all the ceremonies must be wrapping up. Perhaps we should make another round of our patrol areas, just to be safe. That seems like a sound idea. Yeah, we should get back to our patrols. It was good to see you, everyone. Okay, take care out there. Huh? Back to work already? I've got my Arcus with me, so just give me a ring if anything happens. Will do. Huh? Uh. Huh? What's wrong? It feels almost as though... It's coming from the sewers. Hmm. My guess would be there's been an increase in the water pressure. Yeah, this must be... <sighs> Is this... Is it some kind of festival attraction? 
I don't think so. <gasps> this must be the terrorists. Yeah, it seems that way. Angie, Crow, give me a hand. We need to evacuate everyone. The military police have their hands full. We need to handle this ourselves. Right. Gotcha. Okay, let's all... No, we've got this. You have something else you need to take care of. Something important. More important than this? What do you mean? <gasps> Modder Park. So this is just a diversion? I'd bet on it. Letting kids handle this. Jeez, oh. <clears throat> what? Good day, Your Excellency. I do hope you'll forgive me for showing up to this party without an invitation. Ugh! You. Truth be told, I have no real qualms with you, personally. However, you are a willing collaborator with the man we loathe. So I'm afraid that makes you guilty by association. I figured that's what you were after. Let those girls go. They have nothing to do with this. Your Excellency! <laughs> I'm afraid we just can't do that. After all, they've yet to play their biggest part. That of your faction's most shameful failure. Oh, but fear not. I have no intention of taking their lives. <gasps> Police! What are you doing here? You made it. Dad, are you alright? The brats from Thor's. So you've come to meddle in our affairs again, have you? Not this time, I'm afraid. I won't allow you to interfere. <gasps> Is he? Controlling those beasts? So that's how those monsters came to be running around out here. Green! Be careful! Elise! Your Highness! You! <laughs> my, my, I can certainly tell when I'm not wanted. I suppose we'll just have to leave then. Go, my beasts! Strip them to the bow! <laughs> We're not going to lose to a couple of these things! Two large monsters. 
Combat pattern analysis complete. All right, let's take them down. Okay. okay. Enemy sighted, let's take them out. My turn. All right, let's do this. Understand. Got it. Right. right. Keep it up, everyone. Right. Hmm. Kind of tempting. Turn. Locked and loaded. You won't get away. My turn. Attack. Go. I'll take you up. My turn. Right. 
Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it! Right! How about this? I want to be Lincoln, shit. Here we go! <clears throat> My turn. I hope you're ready. You're finished. There's no time to waste. Did it! <clears throat> we must pursue them at once. There's no time to rest. Dad, you're bleeding. This little scratch? Nothing to worry about. But never mind me. Her Highness is in danger. Please, go after her. Wait! Take me with you too! Patrick? No. I need you to stay and protect everyone who's still here. Those monsters are still roaming around outside, and the governor is wounded. B but Please, if you're here, at least I can go knowing my father is in safe hands. <sighs> fine, fine, I'll stay. That's settled then. Let us give chase then. Your Excellency, please let the railway military police know what's happening as soon as you can. You can count on it. You would think all the, like, trained adult guards upstairs might be better suited for this. I guess you'd be wrong. Dead wrong. I should probably even save. Safety should be a priority too, but a lot of military speeds have all. Damn terrorists! Elise, Princess Alphen, please be safe! Monsters! No problem. We'll just cut our way through. Yeah. Now's our chance! Here we go! Ah! 
There! Ha! Go! Elliot! Elliot. Okay! Up very well. Whew, you weren't exactly making it easy. In some pretty odd ways, this game kind of reminds me of Wild Arms. Ha! Enemies oh. ahead! You have to fight! My turn! Second form, Gale! Now's our chance! I'll take you up! Right! Good night! Of course! It's my turn! Eat that! Right! Ta! My turn! Ta! That's the power of the eight leaves! That's the power of the... Hm. Not bad! HP and EP. So interesting. What is the secret friendship between the Imperial family and the Schwarzer family? Who is Reen? Find out next time on Trails of Cold Steel. Stay on guard and don't get cocky. My turn. See if you can get me. All right, let's do this! Leave it, yeah. to, me. Leave it to me! 
My turn! Give it up, everyone! Of course! Right! How about this? Now! An opening! <laughs> Sorry. I weep. My song of healing. You have my things. Here we go. Yeah, she is right. This this has gone much faster than I expected. Shatter! I guess this is what we're to begin with. Off guard! Gotcha! It's kind of hard. It's my turn! Okay, that was tough. Nice work, though. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I did it! It's far enough! What? Uh. Huh. Uh. Shit! Yeah. 
What? Rain! You came for us! Show's over. Let her highness and Elise go. Now. Considering all that you've done, I can't say I'd be entirely comfortable letting you go free. But if you release them, we might be willing to consider it. Damn kids. <sighs> it's five against three. You've got no chance. And fleeing while trying to carry two hostages? I don't think that'll work out too well for you. So, would you please just let them go? <laughs> impressive. Very impressive. I had no idea Thors was educating such gifted students. Yeah, you did. We kicked your ass last month. Save it. Look, we can keep this stalemate going all day, or you can release them. It's up to you. But I'm warning you, if there's so much as a scratch on either of them, you'll wish the police found you before I did. Uh, you. Rain. Rain. Very well. We surrender. I'm not so proud that I can't see when we have no chance of victory. Then... So you'll let them go? Absolutely. If you can defeat him, that is. Oh, Do it. <sighs> Son of a... A volatile anesthetic? <laughs> Fear not. I simply thought it best they sleep for a short while. After all, this is hardly a sight fit for the eyes of such innocent maidens. Damn it! As long as we keep the exit guarded, we're doing our job. Just they run back the way they came, they fucked. Another monster?! What the? A howl? This roar. What cool zombie dragon? What the hell is that? It's a... a bone dragon? of the demonic flute! An artifact capable of holding even the shadow that reigned over Heimdall during the Dark Ages in its throne. Now, I'll have you delay your journey to perdition no longer. Farewell, dear ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. There's no way we can take on that thing. What are we gonna do? Uh, gonna take I can't it on, estimate its strength. We? Or even the best way to fight it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> We're not just going to roll over and die here. If you think back on how much we've grown just during this field study, there's no way this thing is going to take us down. My blade is ready. <laughs> Too impetuous to know when you're beaten. You? Go, Dark Tyrant! Bring down the merciless hammer of judgment upon these hapless fools! A worthy adversary. Here we go! Alright, let's do this! Leave it right! Of course! Are 
Marcus, activate! Right! Give it up, everyone! My turn. Here I go. Yeah, not gonna be knocked out. Oh my god. Okay. Target locked. Go! Right. Yes, yes, you can. Shatter! My turn! Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it! Green butterfly. This spell, you've got a good immunity to uh, any weakness to fire and water. Ooh, he's got a witness to burn. Or at least he's regularly going to burn. I can use that. Okay. Kinda. I'm blinded. Here! My turn! Okay. Arcus, activate! Of course! Turn. Here I go. <laughs> Got it. Laura, let's go. Understood. Turn. Yeah. 
Okay. My turn. Get a chance. Shatter. Without a single point of damage. Off guard. Broken. Right. That'll be there as a problem. Here we go. My turn. Done. Come back? No. But we can't relax yet. Unscathed. Damn. Done. I mean, I know the game has been a little bit like, it's tough, but we kick back and back through a lot of luck. It impossible. Laura, V, Roger. <sighs> Huh? What? Uh, what? You damned! What? Yeah! Oh fuck. No. The demonic flute. Let's check and mate. Whew, that was a tough one. What's our plan, Comrade G? <sighs> Why let him get that close? You vile... Comrade G? I am fully prepared to lay down my life for our cause. It is not death, I but this operation is too important to leave even a corpse behind. I'm afraid I must do what needs to be done. Even if that means harming a member of the Imperial family. You're gonna get shot through the chest. <laughs> I think it's about time we came out to play. Oh, his friends. What the? Who are? Oh my. Aren't you a quick little kitty? <laughs> Just my type. <laughs> That's the selfie I know. <sighs> Comrade S? Comrade V? Oh, you came for us. Oh, what a relief. Now we can... These must be... We're terrorists! I seem to recall specifically telling you to leave this operation to me. But I can't say I'm unhappy you decided to check in. Sorry, boss. But if you got yourself caught here, we would have been off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> I do apologize for cutting in, but we figured it was for the best. Comrade C decided to join us, too. And so I have. Oh, cool. Evil, evil Power Ranger guy. <laughs> A mask. <laughs> Comrade C, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Did my planning for this operation seem that flawed to you? On the contrary, it was almost perfect. But no plan is completely foolproof. One must always factor in unpredictable elements. As the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7 here have demonstrated so brilliantly. But clearly we have to know this guy. Or else they wouldn't bother with the mask. Unless he's important to Trail's lore? Hmm. What's <sighs> he name? How does he know who we are? Who are you? We have already fulfilled our primary objective. Courting dishonor by harming a member of the Imperial family would gain us nothing now. Do you not agree? No, you're right. Release them.
Elliot, Machius, I'm leaving the two of them to you. Okay. Got it. There. A gesture of goodwill in the hopes that we may yet resolve this without bloodshed. I mean, I guess Crow starts to see, but... he just seems an unlikely candidate for a host of reasons. What say you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7? Will you stand aside and let us leave peacefully? Like hell we will. You abducted the Imperial Princess and an innocent girl. Drugged them. What Erebonian would stand idly by in the face of such an outrage? It's five against six. This won't be easy. Uh, guys... <laughs> you got guts, kids. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind a little roughhousing. No. It's only right that I be the one to test their mettle. Wielders of the long sword, the great sword, the twin gun swords. Stand and face me. I shall be your opponent. <gasps> what? <laughs> Think of this as an entertaining way to kill some time. The railway military police are already on their way. Until then, pour out the vessel of your wrath upon me. <sighs> Interesting. He's awful sure of himself. Is he serious? There's no way he can win against all three of them. <laughs> Don't have a heal. Whoa, what kind of weapon is that? Another relic from the Dark Ages. A double saber. See, that is all you need to know. Now, come at me if you think you're able. Then allow us to begin. Here we go! Alright, let's do this! Understood! Ah. Oh, fuck. Of course! Shatter! My turn. Oh yeah, we, we have no chance. Here we go. <laughs> there goes. I was careless. My turn! Second turn. I also don't think we're meant to win here, so... There's a limit to how much I'm gonna put into this. Oh, Back up! Shoot! Flames, gavel on my blade! That's our C for you. Ooh, can't deny he's got the brains and the brawn to lead. <sighs> what power? He might even be as strong as Sarah. Just, who are you people? Huh. 
From today, you shall know us as the Imperial Liberation Front. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That is our cause, our purpose. The Imperial Liberation Front? W what dictator? Freeze, all of you! Instructor! Captain Claire! Just in time. It appears the time has come to make our exit. Huh? Is that... No, oh, a detonator. Shit. Farewell. I'm sure we'll meet again. What? A, a bomb? <laughs> See you around. Ta-ta for now, my little darlings. <laughs> Let's see you claw your way out of this grave. The passage is collapsing! Hurry! Wait! Ah, they couldn't leave Juan up alone! Reem, you carry her highness. Got it! I wouldn't be curious if... That was pretty touch and go back there. But I'm glad to see you all pulled through. Well, thanks to you, Instructor. I had my doubts we were going to make it out of that alive. You could have come a bit sooner. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, there's no way we'll be able to follow them now. Indeed. So, the Imperial Liberation Front, is it? Your Highness! Elise! Oh, thank goodness. Whatever drug they were given doesn't seem to have had any lasting effects. I feel like I've caused you all a lot of trouble, but thank you for rescuing me. I'm just glad that you're safe and unharmed. <sighs> what happened? Are you alright, Your Highness? How are you feeling? Reen? Uh, I'm fine. You should worry more about your sister. Looks like the Intelligence Division was right on the mark. We have a number of the routes back to the surface locked down. Think we could smoke them out? Personally, I doubt it. This tunnel system is incredibly expansive, with too many areas we know nothing about. Continue the search for a while longer, then focus on restoring order in the city. Yes, ma'am. I'll send a report to the other divisions and let them know the situation's been resolved. So, Imperial Liberation Front, What's your game? I assume they want to liberate the Empire? Um... You know, I'll give them this much. They seem to have more complicated aims than, like, toppling the aristocracy or something like that. I'm curious. Then I always do want to give Neon Falcom a little more credit than they maybe deserve. We'll In see. the end, the Railway Military Police brought the chaos under control, and the first day of the festival came to a close. Despite his injuries, Governor Regnitz kept on top of things, ensuring that the rest of the festival passed by peacefully. The next morning, it was time for us to leave the capital behind and make our way back to Trista. I really don't know how to begin thanking you. You've done so much for our family that I doubt we'll ever be able to repay you. 
Not at all, Your Highness. There's nothing to repay us for. We just did what we had to. Oh, come now. There's no need to be so modest. It scares me to think what might have happened if Elise and I had been taken away by those people. So I can't thank you all enough. Please allow me to extend my thanks for your help as well. I'm truly grateful. Elise. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe. Group B's efforts were a great help to Cedric and I as well. Thank you again for your assistance in restoring order to the city. I'm honored, Your Highness. <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of service. <laughs> Just think of it as returning the favor for your help pushing to make Class 7 a reality. Still, now we've got the Imperial Liberation Front to worry about. Regrettably. There have been signs they were up to no good behind the scenes before now. That incident in Nord, for example. But now they've finally stepped out of the shadows and announced themselves to the world. They appear to be insurgents in the truest sense of the word, led by several key figures, C being the most prominent. The Intelligence Division is doing its utmost to gather information about these leaders even as we speak. They struck me as rather... mysterious in some ways. Even though they abducted us, they rarely showed the kind of maliciousness one would expect from terrorists. It seemed more like they were in the grip of some kind of intense passion. True. Not that it excuses abducting your highness like they did. An intense passion, you say? It did seem that way. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That's what their leader said when they made their appearance. Indeed. <laughs> All the ham-handed theatrics of a middle school play. Thank you, Juices. Yeah... You can tell how gleeful he must have been to say the flames of silent anger in front of an audience. Well, it's no mystery what they're referring to, at least. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss you. Wait, isn't that... Cedric the Entertainer? Is he? White? Suddenly, yes. Dad's with him, too. I don't have a good one for that. <laughs> I'm glad you made it, Cedric! Huh. <laughs> just in time, too. Your Highness? Did you come all this way just to bid us farewell? Of course. After all you've done for us, I thought it was the least I could do. Ah, is this the rest of Class 7? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Cedric Ricey Arner. I wanted to thank you for coming to my sister's aid in her time of need. Allow me to extend to you my most heartfelt appreciation. You're too generous, Your Highness. Th the honor was ours. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the Crown Prince. He's pretty cute. V? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind if he took a few lessons in manliness from the gentlemen of Class 7, though. Uh, Alfin, come on. I think that's a little harsh, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you're still just 15. You have plenty of growing ahead of you. Still, it isn't often I see you keeping the Imperial Governor company. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I just happened to be here on business, so I thought I'd take the chance to say goodbye to everyone. How are you feeling? Are your injuries all right now? Yes, nothing too serious, fortunately. I'm still feeling it, but it shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to my old self. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see you looking all hale and hearty, Your Excellency. Thank you. While no one could have foreseen how it ended, you did manage to complete this month's field study. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to congratulate you for your exemplary work. We're honored you'd say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. We three directors may have very different positions on many issues, including how Class 7 should be run. But for my part, I'd like you to enjoy student life however you choose. I think the other directors would agree with me on at least that much. Dad. I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Your Excellency. In that regard, you have nothing to worry about, Your Highness. <laughs> well, if you say so. I've always found you a trustworthy man, of course. But... Ah, I see that everyone's here.
Dictator, oh. the Iron and Blood Chancellor. It, it couldn't be. <sighs> Chancellor Osborne! As a matter of fact, the Chancellor and I just came from an audience with His Majesty the Emperor. I'm overjoyed to see you safe and well, Princess Alpha. Clearly, the goddess has bestowed her blessings upon us. Thank you, Chancellor. I'd also like to reassure Prince Oliver that we're starting a nationwide hunt for members of the Imperial Liberation Front. An investigation into the backgrounds of its members is also underway, so you needn't worry. My, my. Nothing gets past you, does it? What's going on with the Chancellor's hair? Is that a headband, or...? Is it, like, seriously spiked up, or...? Does he have a weird hairline that starts way before the top of his forehead? Many questions. No answers. Well, I suppose that means you have the security detail for next month's trade conference well in hand? Of course. I'll see to it that everything is taken care of. Ah, but where are my manners? Please excuse me for not introducing myself. I'm Giliath Osborne, representative of the Erebonian government. Though I imagine those of you who read the papers may know me better as the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Oh, uh, it's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. Uh, um, your reputation precedes you, Your Excellency. <laughs> I've heard much about the recent exploits of Thor's Class Seven. Traveling across the Empire for first-hand learning with your field studies, it's quite the fascinating program. I hope you'll keep up the good work. We shall endeavor to. Thanks. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. Ah, yes. It's been quite some time, young Grayson. I'm glad to see your new career path is working out for you. Thank you, Chancellor. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for you. I really owe you for all you've done for me. <laughs> General Van Dyke was my superior back when I was in the army. God, I'm sorry it bothers me. I know anime here has to be ridiculous to some extent, but like... It's usually in the ends, not like the beginning of it, that are so odd. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. What are you... <clears throat> Looks better from a distance, though. I have great expectations for you all. Nurture the bonds you share, and train up bodies and wills of steel. For I have no doubt you'll need them in the turbulent times to come. That's unsettling. Oh. <sighs> Did he just foreshadow a civil war? <sighs> Rain? Someday. <laughs> Good showing, everyone. Oh, what? I did all the optional stuff. But, I mean, 69. Nice. Ah, nice. Not like I was getting S ranks, anyways.
gonna take this as a good uh, second break point, even though I don't need one that bad. But always good to take the puppy out for a little frisbee break. So, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, I'll catch you next episode. And if you're catching me live, I'll be back in, you know, five, maybe ten minutes. It'll be a shorter break than last time. But uh, either way, I'll be seeing you soon. Goodbye.